Welcome to Channel E Dog 200, the home of dirt, adventure, and vintage motorcycling. Today we take you out to Windsor to have a look at some old bikes, but in two weeks' time it's back in the dirt when we head to Barrington with some of the best riding in the country. Now, this is one of those scary machines, uh, RMX uh, 465X. Absolute trench digger. The only problem with this is stopping it. Stopping it. It's got a funny lift. So the linkage is above the shock absorber. That's interesting. It actually keeps it up out of the way, doesn't it? The bloody um, bearings and things. I had a CR125 Elsinore 1974, and bikes still hadn't gone to uh, water cooling at that stage. Hadn't developed, uh, exhaust really small expansion chamber in those days. So for the dirt bike riders around, we always thought water cooling came in around the 1980s, late 80s. What, what, how old is this, Pete? 1937. A water-cooled bike, 1937. Yeah, we always thought the Japs uh, were the ones who uh, sorted out water cooling, but there's a classic English bike, Pete. Yeah, it is. And it's called the Flying Squirrel. The Flying Squirrel. Scott Squirrel. Scott Squirrel. Scott Squirrel so yeah. You're thinking of the Flying Scotsman. Yes, the way of life would have made it dramatically. 